I'm better than Nick Diaz at everything. I want to see this amazing KJ Nunes. I'm better at looking than him. I'm better at talking than him. I'm a better fighter than him. I'll beat him at anything. I'm curious, I'm anxious, because I want to see what's so special that this guy is going to do. I got his number. I got his number. What does this guy expect to beat me? Strike Force presents Collision Course Diaz versus Noons 2. In November 2007, Corpus Christi played host to a 160 pound lightweight championship bout, featuring the up and coming KJ Noons taking on MMA veteran Nick Diaz. Five five minute round scheduled for the World Lightweight Championship. When he fought Nick the first time, KJ had really just started MMA. It was an honor for KJ to fight him at that time uh, because KJ was up and coming and Nick had a name. I didn't feel like this guy belonged in there with me because he didn't. Nick's an extremely tactical fighter. It's really, really interesting to watch it. Just tried to play it to my best, uh, my best advantage, you know, keep it standing and try not let go to the ground because he's bigger on the ground. Noons has got such a pedigree for stand-up fighting. Diaz doing a good job of breaking the guard. Uh-oh. Wow. Nice escape by KJ Noons midway through round one. Break, break. And yes, a cut over the right eye of Nick Diaz. That cut is actually in a pretty bad place. It's right on the eye, right above the eyelid. I'm having a hard time getting motivated to fight this guy. I don't even know who he is. And even worse is I really don't want to lose to this guy because he's not important. After an intense, bloody first round, the ringside doctor concluded that the cuts above Diaz's eye rendered him unable to continue, thus awarding KJ Noons the championship. It's over. The fight has been stopped. No, I didn't talk to the doctor. I didn't talk to him. He didn't talk to me. He, didn't, he barely looked at me and he turned around and he goes, Shh and signal somebody, and then they go, oh, fight's over, and I'm going, what the fuck? Nick Diaz unable to continue. Nick Diaz not happy with the decision. KJ Nunes is your new 160-pound world champion. His face was all cut up and destroyed. I mean, what's gonna happen when your face is already opened up and I keep punching in those cuts? I mean... I was irritated by the way he celebrated so much after winning the cut. And I'm just going like, hey, man, be fair, you know, whatever, dude, you know? Uh, I wouldn't, I, you won't ever see me do that. Hey, I won, man, I won, you know. Hey, I would just say, hey, look, we gotta do it again, obviously, you know. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not a poor sport, you know. I'm just saying, hey, you didn't win that. With their rematch looming on October 9th, the two have even more motivation than ever before. If Nick Diaz beats KJ Noons, he can reason the first fight to a superficial cut overblown by an inexperienced ringside doctor and redeem the most embarrassing loss of his career. I don't expect it to be easy. I don't expect any fight to be easy. I, don't, I didn't expect it to be easy the first time we fought. It's real embarrassing for me to stand in there um, and take punches from a guy that's, you know, not important. He don't, know, he, he, don't, he don't know who I am, but I bet he knows who I am every time he looks himself in the mirror, right? All them scars on his face, remember that? You remember me now, right? If KJ Noons defeats Nick Diaz again, he not only walks away the Strikeforce welterweight champion, it elevates Noons to one of the best mixed martial artists in the world. The cut I had was real small, and, and you know, they wasted no time to stop the fight right there. They didn't even put a flashlight in my eye or nothing. You know, I just don't think that's fair, you know, that the way that went before, and I just want my fair shot, you know? If you had a problem the first time, that's all we're doing the second time. Next time, from Houston, Texas, to Lodi, California, to Tijuana, Mexico, we go inside the Nunes and Diaz camps as they prepare for their collision on October 9th, only on Showtime.